I've got an interesting personality here with me on the couch. He's Rick Akan. He's an actor, model, TV host, and many more. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. It's How lovely are you to be doing? Here. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank Good you. Good to have you here. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So I recently watched African Magic Unscripted, mm. and I thought to myself, I need to have this character on this show because you need to tell me what's... I, so every time I watched Unscripted, and I saw your character. Mm -hmm. I kept on wondering what is going on in his mind? What is going on in his head? Because you sort of transitioned, you know, from this um, cool, calm, collected guy to this aggressive person. And I'm like, okay, what's happening here? But um, hey, talk to us first about, you know, how you had to prepare for your role in AM Unscripted. So Preparing for Unscripted was very um, easy, I think. It was very easy because if you speak to anyone who worked on Unscripted, they'll tell you that the, the environment we had there, the camaraderie, was so, so endearing. So it was awesome working with the cast and working with everyone backstage. But also, like when I speak about this, I also want to note some of the conversations that happened before even filming started. Uh, director, Steph, super detailed. So we had like meetings and phone calls before filming started to explain, you know, let's talk about the character. Who do you think this character is? This is how, this is what I think, this is what you think. Let's find a way to mesh this together. And those sorts of conversations are very important because then you have a view of what the director wants you to do. And then it also feels like you also personalize the character a bit yourself because now it's your baby to take care of and nourish and like bring to life. So it was very easy. You work with people who make it easy. And that's what it was. Um, the, the movie industry right now is experiencing a shift where there's um, a lot more focus on the new generation or let's say, yeah, new generation of actors and you know actresses. And there's a lot more focus on the Gen Zs. Mm. And AM Scripted was more like a, a platform that showcased your um, up and coming movie stars to look out for because every character stood out. Did you feel any sort of competition, any sort of, you know, tension, any sort of, mm, okay, no, it's my time, I need to shine because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you nothing like that. Okay. Nothing, you know, when we rapped on scripted, people cried because we had to leave each other. That's the, the sort of energy that we had. It, it was so fun and it was almost like a family. Like you have these group of, this group of people and they just get so in tune with the character and having so much fun working together. I, I'm thinking so many instances. There are some times where on set someone just breaks into a song and everyone just starts singing. Sometimes it's like everyone just wants to take pictures or have fun. A lot of even what you see in Unscripted wasn't even in the script. So it was that, like, um, characters, the character Cassie, for example, yeah. the character Olamide, for example, those people really just took those characters and took off. They did. They really just took it and took off with yeah. it. And then it, it, it was so, I, I never for once felt like on that set there was any kind of, like, competition, competition or anything. No, it was, it was so cool. Now let's talk about um, you as an actor. I mean, you do, you've been on this journey since 2020, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, well, you have sort of experienced some down times <laughs> and, you know, some good times. Um, talk to us about some of those experiences. Well, in Nollywood, a, a phrase we use a lot is paying dues. So I think it's to be expected in a sense. Some people, very few people, have it in a way where they start and they really take off from there. Mm -hmm. But for most of us, we have to like get used to the idea that there will be a period where you will pay dues, you will work um, jobs that maybe you would prefer not to. You will maybe have you worked jobs that you oh uh, absolutely. Okay. I've I've done a lot of work for the exposure. So okay. you will get a bit of that like when you start out, but then uh, if you love it, and this is something that's always been important for me, right from when I was a kid, my understanding was 
I wanted to professionally pursue something that I loved and I enjoyed. Because in my mind, even if I were to look at it statistically, you will spend majority of your life at work. Your job is going to know you more than your wife or your kids or your parents or anything like that. So if, if you do something, if you're in a job or you're in a profession that you don't like, you do not enjoy, that's a large chunk of your life dedicated to misery, yeah. right? And then I feel like also to validate yourself as a human being, you owe it to yourself to feel like you're making progress, to feel like you're doing your best. I don't think you can really do that if you're waking up every morning not looking forward to what you do for work, right? But if you call me now, you tell me, yo, there's, there's, a, there's a movie, I, I like the script, I think you like the script. I'm excited already. You're I'm, jumping. I'm, I'm, I'm energy, I, you're, you get energized. I so. feel your passion and um, recently, the Nollywood industry experienced a huge loss. Oh. And that was um, Junior Pope alongside three other missing um, crew members. Yes. Um, and it was a really sad event that sort of just shook the industry. And um, it also gave birth to a conversation that has been, it, has, it happens, you know, and then, you know, it dies down, it fades off because no one is really talking about it. But then, of course, I've also heard a few young artists talk about how the movie industry, how producers treats not just crew members, but also actors on set, especially the C-list, D-list, mm -hmm. and the, you know, Wakapas actors, right? I would like to use that um, term so that it drives home the point. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Have you ever experienced any sort of um, 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 discrimination for being an up upcoming artist on sets or anything of that sort? Just talk to us because, I mean, you're in the industry. Well, I mean, I, I would say I've been privileged to work with people who are very, very um, empathetic and very, very observant of human interaction and okay. just value on human lives and the rest. But I've, I, I can't say it's, it's something that I'm completely unaware of, that there are some times where um, people are not, I mean, I've, I've been in movies where sometimes you're, you're booked for a couple of days and they don't make arrangements for places for you to sleep. Mm. You know, and these are some of the things when I said I started earlier on. Mm. So I think we can do better. I think there are motions to do better. There's definitely also producers, directors, people who emphasize being able to take care of people. But I, like what happened, you know, I think that was yesterday. That tragedy, what, what makes it so painful was how avoidable it was because it's a simple thing. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's a, a simple safety precaution. Precautions. Like if you go on a boat, please have a life jacket on. Yeah. Please make sure the boat is you know, yeah. functioning well. Yeah. It's, it's, it's bad enough that people may feel that they're not being treated well, mm -hmm. but people not feeling safe, that's, that's a completely different element. So it's so sad that this has had, like, it didn't have to happen, to say that it had to, but it has happened. And someone is waking up now with no husband, and their kids now, and their dad is gone. I think that we have a responsibility to do better moving forward. Do you think that the um, Actors Guild of Nigeria is being fair with, you know, um, currently suspending the producer of the movie? I think, I think it's a necessary action, okay. in a way, because, uh, I mean, we just talked about safety and the rest. I also think that I feel we need to develop a culture of prevention okay. as opposed to because what I've heard that they've done is they, they've um, banned movies to be shot mm. in, around rivers or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. I don't think that's the, that, that's not, I mean, that's, we, not the solution. that's not the solution. At some point, we, you can't hold that up forever. Yeah. So at some point, it has to be, okay, how do we create a culture that prioritizes safety mm. of actors, safety of crew members? Safety how, of everyone. Of everyone. So, you know, that's more what I feel they should be thinking about. <sighs> Rick, I know that AM Dust is, sorry, Scene. Scene. Right, is your, is your current, is currently on yes, right Aaron. now. And quickly, just quickly tell us where we can watch it up so we can just look out for it. Oh, Scene, African Magic Showcase. 
showcase, okay. 8.30 p.m., All Thursdays, right. Fridays, and it's on Showmax as well. Thank so. you so much, Rick, for being here. Thank this you so much. Having an interesting conversation with you. <laughs>